Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about chirality and uh, what we call optical isomers. Um, these are quite difficult to explain, so I've actually got some 3D models. Um, basically, chirality is a form of stereoisomerism. Um, uh, it, it's a way of things having different three-dimensional shapes. We saw that with geometric isomerism back in when we did alkenes. But we get optical isomerism whenever something uh, is basically a mirror image of something else. It's kind of like your hands. Look here. They look the same shape, don't they? They're mirror images of each other. But actually, if you put them over the top of one another, they are not the same shape. You can't orientate this in any way so that they actually are ex identically the same shape. Um, that can happen with molecules as well. If you have one carbon atom, which has got four different things attached to it, like this one here, you can see here's this central carbon atom there. It's got an OH group attached here, um, a chlorine, a hydrogen, and a methyl group here. Then this can, this can exist as two different enantiomers, uh, two different optical isomers two different stereoisomers. Let's have a look at them. Here they are. These are mirror images of each other, but there is no way that you can spin this molecule around to make it fit the other molecule. You can get two of them to fit, but there's no way you can get both of them to do so. So these are called optical isomers. Something interesting about optical isomers is that they um, will rotate the plane of polarized light. So let's have a look at um, what that kind of looks like. Um, and what I'll do is uh, do a little uh, sketchy bit on, uh, on one of my programs and you can see um, kind of what's going on with some of the structures of uh, optical isomers. Okay, let's have a look at chirality then. Like I said, these are molecules that have uh, four different substituents, substituents on the a central carbon atom. For example, if something is like this, so you've got a methyl group, chlorine, hydrogen, and OH. So this molecule here could possibly be chiral. And you could say that this one that I've done with the star, this is a chiral carbon. This is a really common question to be able to um, show where the chiral, uh, chiral centers are of compounds. So you need to be able to do this with some degree of skill. All right, so what are the two enantiomers? So we have two enantiomers that we can make from this. But you need, when you're drawing enantiomers, you need to make sure that you're drawing them using wedges and dashes in a 3D shape. The easiest way to do this is to kind of think of this as like a mirror line. And just think, okay, right, so if we've got up CH3, then we need to have up CH3 there. And if we're going out OH, then we need to have this out OH coming here. Then our CL, well, let's have that coming wedged out here with my CL, wedged out here, CL, and then my hydrogen go behind like this. So this is how we can draw two enantiomers.